Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to teach you how to download and install the MC Eternal Mod Pack. It's pretty easy and pretty simple when it comes to mod packs to get the MC Eternal Mod Pack. But first, we do have a from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible Minecraft server. You can actually set up a server running the MC Eternal Mod Pack on Apex with just a few clicks. We love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you were looking for a great way to start a Minecraft server with you and your friends, running Mod Pack or not running Mod Pack, Apex Minecraft Hosting is the way to do it. Check them out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing we want to do is go to the description down below. You're going to find this. This is the second link down below. And this is actually our tutorial on installing the Twitch app. It goes really in depth with the Twitch app. You don't need to do that, but if you are curious once you download this, what can the Twitch app do? Well, that's what this tutorial is going to show you. Nevertheless, once you're here, let's go ahead and click on the yellow download Twitch button. That'll take you off here where you want to click on download Twitch app for Windows right there. Click on that. It's going to download in the bottom left. You shouldn't need to keep the file. You may have to save the file on Mozilla Firefox, but it's 100% safe to save. This is on the official Twitch website. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Here on our desktop, we have the Twitch setup download. It might be in your downloads folder. If it is, go ahead and open up the little Windows icons in the top left for me, bottom left of your screen. Click on that. Type in downloads and you will have the downloads file folder in Windows here. Take Twitch and drag it from your desktop or from your downloads folder to your desktop just for ease of use. Now go ahead and double click on the Twitch setup that you downloaded here. Now this is going to install just like any program. Click the purple install button. It's going to go through, install some things. You might have to click next a time or two depending, but nonetheless, eventually it is going to go ahead and get Twitch downloaded. Now, once it is done downloading, it is going to open up Twitch most likely right away. However, sometimes it won't, and if it doesn't, you can go ahead and open Twitch. Mine is currently working in the background to get it open. You can see it's kind of doing some thinking here. My computer, it's a bit slow today. I don't know. Anyway, long story short is eventually Twitch will open up. Now, I am automatically logged into my Twitch account here. You will need to log into your Twitch account, right? If you don't have a Twitch account, you will need to create one. To play the MC Eternal Mod Pack, you need a Twitch account. So go ahead, sign up for Twitch, log into your Twitch account, all that stuff, and then you'll be here. I have a problem. Every single one of the channels they recommend old school RuneScape. Anyway, long story short, what we want to do is click on the Mods tab up here at the top. So when you click on Mods, you'll have Minecraft. Now, yours might not be lit up like mine was there. And if it's not, no worries. Click on it. It's going to be something kind of like this. Not exactly like that. But anyway, long story short is it's going to have an install button, a purple install button. Click on that purple install button when you click on Minecraft. And then you'll be taken to a page like this. Now, what you want to do is click on Browse Mod Packs here. And then to find this mod pack, just click on the search box up here over on the right. You want to type in MC Eternal. So MC Eternal, right like so. And there it is. The MC Eternal Mod Pack by Adam98991. It has gotten almost a million downloads, 838,000 downloads. So awesome stuff there. To install this mod pack, Pack, just hover over it and click the purple install button that appears. When you click on that, it's going to go ahead and start installing. It's going to take it a minute because it is quite the mod pack. So let's go ahead, let it finish. And whenever it's finished, done with this installing process, I'll show you what it'll look like. And we'll go ahead and get it opened up and get it running. There we have it. The download is now complete. My background changed in the download, which is pretty cool. That's not part of it. It's just I have my background stuff change every 15 minutes. But nevertheless, once the download is done, you'll see this purple play button appear. Go ahead and click on that purple play button and it will download some more things. It's going to download the Minecraft launch kind of and set it up there. Now you will need to log into your Minecraft account here, right? So this is going to be the normal Minecraft account that you log into all the time, right? If you log into the normal Minecraft launcher, this is what you're going to use to log in because, well, this is the normal Minecraft launcher. That is one of the cool things about Twitch mod packs. They use the normal Minecraft launcher to launch in. So we go ahead and click log in there with our account. And then we do have MC Eternal down here in the bottom left. If you don't have that selected, go ahead and select, click the little arrow and select it. If it's still not there, no worries. Close out of the Minecraft launcher, click on that purple play button again. Now you won't need to sign in, but it'll have MC Eternal down there in the bottom left. When you see that appear, go ahead and click play. But wait, what if you need to add more RAM? Because a lot of these mod packs need more RAM. So to do that, click on the installations tab up here at the top, find that MC Eternal, click that three arrows over here that appear. You hover over this, those three arrows will appear. Click on that and then click edit. And then down here, click on more options. Now, right down here where it says XMX 3228, that is where you can add more RAM. So currently there are three gigabytes. I'm going to add right around, you know, six gigabytes just because I could go over the top when it comes to RAM here. You don't have to go over the top, right? You can probably run this pack on about three to four gigabytes of RAM. You don't need six. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and change our resolution. That way you all can see once we get in game. Now let's go ahead and click save and we can find this MC Eternal profile here and just click that green play button that appears whenever we hover over it. So you've added more RAM, you've downloaded, you've installed, you've set up. Now we just have to wait for Minecraft to set it all up. And that can take a while. Sometimes mod packs can take 15 minutes to launch. I know that sounds overwhelming. I'll say that to a lot of people and they're like, what, 15 minutes? No, 
most of the time it's not going to take 15 minutes, but the first time it might take 15 minutes. So we're going to sit here, we're going to wait, we're going to let it upload or not upload, let install, set up, all that stuff. One thing that might happen is this, it might go non-responding. I'm trying to see if I can make it do it. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. But if it goes non-responding, it turns all white, you get the circle, looks like it's going to crash itself. Don't worry, just sit, wait, it, it'll eventually work itself through. If it does crash, that means you don't have enough RAM. You need to go back, add more RAM there, and then it will be able to make it all the way through, right? So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But I will see you after a quick jump cut to, uh, you know, kind of get this set up and prove that everything is truly up and working with the MC Eternal mod pack. I said it would take a while, and I was I was correct on that. It did take a while to get this mod pack open. It took me almost 10 minutes to get this mod pack open, like seven, eight minutes, somewhere in there. So here we are. We are in the MC Eternal mod pack. We can jump into single player. I always like to create a single player world and create just a check it out whenever I start these mod packs tutorials or finish these up. So let's go ahead, jump on in. I'll let this world create, and then we'll be done. When I stopped talking there, it was, was not responding. I want to show you that it did immediately start responding. That is one thing I was like to show you. It did, just you gotta wait. That's a lot of what modded Minecraft is with huge mod packs like this waiting. So we're going to wait, let this world generate, and I'll see once it's done. All right, here we go. The world is now generated. We can see we've spawned in with the happy welcome, the quest book, and the skill book here. We've also got like a cool little house here on our spawn. But um, yeah, I don't think there's any denying that this is in fact a mod pack. We've got a ice tower right here on our spawn whatever this is. Anyway, if you don't want the seed, there is the seed. Seems like a pretty cool one. But um, yeah, spawning into this sort of an ice biome. This is a really cool mod pack. And overall, I don't know much about it. I get a lot of requests for mod packs. Some of them I look more into. Some of them I don't. This seems like a cool pack with these custom biomes. I mean, this is a huge custom snow biome here. Wow, I'm actually kind of impressed by this. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that's actually a snowball. Wow, this is insane. But anyway, yeah, overall, pretty cool mod pack and seems to have a ton of ton and ton of mods in it, which means it's probably more of a kitchen sink mod pack, meaning, you know, there's a few different, you know, routes you can go if you want to go more of a magic route, you can. If you want to go more of a, you know, sort of like manufacturing route, you probably can. But there is the quest book here, and yeah, I was correct. There's a lot of different things that you can do here and a lot of different routes that you can take to uh, kind of get this set up. Wow, this is, this is impressive. So yeah, this is a very, very huge mod pack. Tons of playtime is to be found here. I love these little biomes. I don't know why. These Tinker's Construct, you know, floating biomes. But nevertheless, there you all have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. I'm going to sail off into this into the sunset with this pirate ship. But um, yeah, that is how you can get MC Eternal. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. Wow, these are cool custom skills. Wow, that's awesome. But anyway, play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP of the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have custom factions, custom survival, custom skyblock. Everything's custom. 1.15.2 survival, 1.8 factions, 1.12.2 skyblock. You will love it. No matter what you are looking for, you will find it on play.breakdowncraft.com. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.